What's up everybody? Welcome back. So, um, as you see from the thumbnail, I got something in, uh, kind of a shop edition that I'm super excited about. Um, now, if you remember a few videos ago, uh, I had painted um, the Isuzu 117 Coupe, and I used the scale finishes, uh, ready to spray, pre-mixed pre enamel, um, and it went, it went down so nice. It went, it laid down beautifully. Uh, but the problem I had with it, or I'm having with it, is it's not so much a problem on its end, it's more on my end. So as everybody knows, enamels, um, enamels take forever to dry, or, or gas out, or cure, or however you want to say it. So, uh, we keep the house pretty cool. Um, the house is set temperature-wise to 62, uh, just purely uh, to conserve fuel. Um, I mean, that's part of the reason why you always see me in a hoodie. It's because it, it's kind of cool in here. And um, 62 uh, for an enamel like that is not ideal for, for drying time. Um, I get that, and that's, that's why that is, I was having such a hard time. I know that. So, uh, I needed to, I needed really, 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 if you remember, uh, needed to add a dehydrator to the shop, uh, this year. So, you know, I, t I talked with Heather about it and, uh, she's so supportive and, um, she said, well, you know what, what, what just, just buy one. Let's just buy one. Um, and we looked around, uh, stores we went to to walmart and target and things like that and didn't find i didn't find any that i thought was right and then I, you're gonna have to forgive me i don't remember exactly i could get into there but somebody emailed me uh the link to a dehydrator and i i looked at that and i thought holy crap that's exactly what i want that's exactly the dehydrator that i want um so I, I was reading about it. I, you know, um, another YouTube channel had done a review on this dehydrator, um, and they had nothing but good things to say about it. Um, and I'm reading it, and I get to the bottom, and it says you could either go for the bigger one or they had a smaller one. Um, so I went, and I decided to pick up the smaller one. So this is the Ivation um, food dehydrator. If, you, if you're if you a fan of uh, the In the Garage with Zippy or the Garage with Zippy, uh, you'll recognize that because he bought, he actually bought the, the bigger one, the nine drawer um, unit. And he did a video on his uh, plenty of room. You can fit lot, you know, lots of bodies in it. Uh, I think he had three, two or three bodies in his, and multiple drawers for parts. And that's awesome. That's like, it's perfect. Um, but there's a couple of factors that made me decide to go with the smaller one. Uh, obviously, I have just this one room, which um, looks bigger <laughs> on camera, I'm sure, than it really is. Uh, so I have limited space. Um, and I started thinking, I really am not going to have more than one or two uh, kits worth of parts in this thing at a time. I'm just, I'm not going to, that's not how I do it. I don't, um, I used to paint like as many bodies as I could in the fall so that I didn't have to paint. But now that I've got a spray booth inside and I just don't do that anymore. So I'm going to have, you know, max two bodies going at the same time. So... This is perfect. Um, it fits. I've got one tray for parts. They come right out. So you can put parts on one tray. Put that up on this level right here. Not that level. That level. Fits in there perfect. And then I've got the bottom tray for bodies. Which you can see I have the Isuzu, the troublesome Isuzu in there now. Um, it's perfect, and there's room for another body in there too, so I could get two bodies in there. 
Uh, also, I'm thinking that even if I'm not looking to dry a body, say if I use, um, if I spray an MCW lacquer, or I even uh, spray like a Tamiya rattle can, I'll be able to put the stuff in there and keep it, I'm hoping, keep it dust free. I'm hoping. I'm sure somebody out there is going to tell me that that's not going to work. Um, but it's got to be better than uh, what I was doing before. So uh, it's really cool. It's got the temperature settings goes from 95 degrees all the way up to 158 degrees. Um, you can set a timer from 30 minutes up to 19 hours and 30 minutes. So there's a lot of leeway in there. There's a lot of adjustability, both temperature and, and time-wise. I, I'm expecting big things out of this dehydrator, guys. I'm not going to lie. So I'm looking forward to using it. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time this weekend. Uh, but I am going to get a kit out of the stash. I'm going to pick out another um, scale finishes color that I've got over here. I've got them stacked up over there. And I'm going to uh, paint another body. I'm going to dry that one this afternoon. I think it's it's not super, super wet. Or, or however you want to call it. But I think about an hour in there should cure that up. So I'm going to do that this afternoon and um, see how that goes. So now, as you can see, I've got, I've got you know, a good little setup going here. Um, I've got my spray booth. I can spray. So let me, let me move the camera and I'll show you. Sorry, guys. Um, let me move the camera and I'll show you the whole setup. So I've got... Compressor set up down here, keep my rags, my gun here, I've got some rattle can stuff there, um, and then it's all set right here, spray from the booth, put it right in the dehydrator. Um, sorry, I'm going to move this again. I moved the metal dry box over to the bench, that's where Ryan usually works when he's here. Um, i got my paints on that. My polish is on that. I can just use that that metal box for storage at this point. I can just put stuff in there. Whatever. Whatever might pop up. But I didn't want to get rid of the box because it's got a lot of cool... Where is it? There. It's got a lot of cool stickers on it. So I didn't want to give that up. Um, so there you have it. There's the addition to the shop. Uh, I'm expecting good stuff coming from this guy. So hopefully I'll have some nice really nice uh more really nice paint jobs to show you guys um so that's it for for now uh i got a couple more videos that i'm going to drop this weekend um well, i'm going to show you some shelf queens i've had a couple of people say they would really enjoy seeing some of my older builds so i'm going to do that i'm going to try and do that i think maybe once a week uh, i'll pick one of these rough and ready shelf queens off the shelf and I'll show them to you um, and uh, I'm also gonna open up that Cobra kit I am really really excited to see what's inside that kit uh, that kit is gonna get built pretty soon honestly just because man I I've always wanted that kit and I'm excited to have it so we'll see how that goes but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing, as always. Um, thank you to Mark at Hobby Nut Models. Uh, I really appreciate his support, and I'd love it if you guys went over and supported him. Um, uh, I, I think that's it. So uh, I'll look forward to talking to you again this weekend coming up, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye.